The following podcast is being brought to you by the Defy Life Podcast Network. And I was like, yes, hi. <laughs> I was so excited. Oh, hi. Let me get hi again. <laughs> okay, hi. A guy gets to a point and he asks you to marry him. He really wants to marry you. Mm-hmm. He really, like, like he really feels like you know what she she's the one, she's the one. You already getting the goods. You got the you got to pay for it. Bring me the ring and get on one knee. Okay. Or two. You need time to observe someone and really get a sense of how well do they treat you, how well do they handle adversity. You're not, you're not the one because you don't have, you don't have the grit, the perseverance, the, you ain't really want me because you really, you, you ready to give up? Because mm-hmm. I said, no, nah, you shouldn't have asked. But since I said no, now it's your job to stay in the game and try to fight for it. Boy on uh, five heartbeats, so you make the announcement we're going solo at the award ceremony. <laughs> What's up, y'all, and happy One Eye Shut Day. Welcome to the podcast about many topics from the perspective of three married couples. You can listen to us on DefyLifePods.com, iTunes, Spotify, and any of the other popular podcast platforms. Y'all, welcome back, and we are so happy to be here. It's another Wednesday Another happy hump day, you know, all that good stuff. Um, so while we, before we begin on our word of the day, we want to just go ahead and give a couple of special shout outs. Today is Don Glimpse. He's not a junior, I guess, huh? Don Glimpse the second. It's his 30th birthday today. Happy birthday, nephew. Uh, happy birthday. Um, hey, Dom Dom. Happy well, birthday, Don Dom, Dom. Happy birthday, God son. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. Yes, yes. Are there any other special shout outs we want to do tonight, crew, before we move on? Yeah, my girlfriend Aisha, it's her birthday too, so happy birthday, boo. Happy yes. birthday, Aisha. Happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday, Aisha. Yes. Um, yeah, I mean, I know y'all y'all shouted out my pops last week. Thank y'all for that. Um, but we weren't on, of course. Um, and I just, uh, little known fact, our very first episode was May 7th of 2020, which is pop's birthday. So um, this is kind of um, meant to be that, um, you know, we, uh, that we get to shout him out whenever we can. So thank y'all for shouting him out last week. Appreciate that. Uh, no doubt. Facts. Mm-hmm. Miss, you, miss you, Uncle Tommy. Ain't nothing but love. Any other shout outs? Mm-hmm. All right, then, you know, I guess, Don Don, you have this special day by yourself along with Uncle Tommy a little bit. But, you know, we gave our shout outs last week. So, RIP, Uncle Tommy. And so, with that, we're going to go ahead and get started with our word of the day. I'm going to go ahead and pass it over to Al. You can go ahead and get us started, Al. Appreciate you, appreciate you, appreciate you. What up, co-host? How y'all doing? This is uh, your boy, A dot, L dot. What up? L dot, okay. What up? You know how it is. Yo, I'm just here, man. Feels feels good to be here. It's a lot going on in this world, but it is always a, a good thing to be doing this show. And so my word of the day is completion. That's my word of the day. We have, this is the last show of uh, season number two. And um, I just appreciate being able to complete this project, this this season with y'all. It has been a, a fascinating season as we've talked about some amazing topics. And I just think from the creativity of um, you know, doing our own shows, um, like as a couple, doing our own shows as genders, talking about 
um, children who were gay and communication and I mean, it's just some really great, great, great topics. I, I appreciate the opportunity to have this platform with y'all. So to, to get to this point, I, I just want to appreciate the completion of the whole thing. And at the end of the day, I think I also want to mention that this is going to be an interesting show. You know, that last show, when you know it's the last show for a season, you don't know what the hell you're going to get. So buckle up, listeners. Because it's going to be one of them good shows. Deuces. Deuces. And uh, to that, we're going to swing. I think we're going to swing to the right. Ladine and JR are on my right. I don't know what it is about this picture that I have um, in my head. And while Ladine and JR are to the right and Thomas and Keita to the left, I don't really know how that happened. But we're going to go ahead and swing to the right. And let uh, Jr. and Ladine chime in with their day, their word of the day. So y'all can decide who's gonna go first. I know, like, I know that Jr. is probably gonna say, Ladine, you know, you go ahead, babe. I'll let you have it. Thank you know, you. so you know what? Let me just go ahead and relieve you all from all of that. <laughs> and Ladine, we gonna start with you. Go ahead, Boo. What's your word of the day? <laughs> My word of the day. Um, oh, come on. <clears throat> Let's see. I don't know. You know, look, I tell you, every time I get on with these people, I just am. I'm, y'all bring the energy all the way up because I was tired, boss. I'm talking about <laughs> tired. Y'all got me over here cracking up. I've been laughing all day. Um, I'm really not sure what to say here. I think I used this word before, but so I'm gonna have to switch it up. And I guess I'm just gonna use laughter. Like, God, I just I love laughing. Like I have been laughing all day. Today was a good day. I'm happy about it. I want to continue laughing throughout this entire show because this is gonna be a funny one. And yeah, I'll I'll definitely say laughter. Laughter, <laughs> love yeah. it. And it and it's funny because that's something that I just said to Al a couple of weeks, like within the last three to four weeks. It's like, you know what? We need to insert more laughter, like in our lives. Like that shit is real, and you don't even realize like how it shifts the energy just to laugh. Like, yo, for real. I Thomas, I mean, uh, Jr. You let Nadine go first. <laughs> well, I don't know if that's her first. Or he just kind of jumped in, cause you know, I, I don't. Know. But I ain't gonna start no shit. I'm just saying. It was you. You asked me for the words of the day, ma'am. I asked you first. I know. All right, Jay. I asked you first. Now, Jr. It's your turn. What up? What up? Um, that laughter's a good one, babe. Um. That, that's uh you know whenever and Jim you're right whenever we can insert more laughter into our lives especially together as couples um it, it always to me it changes the mood of the household so that's a good one um my word of the day i would say would be evolution um considering we are um you know we're nearing the end of another season here and i'm just proud of uh what we've done here um and the way we've evolved um as hosts as um partners as you know as, as communicators and i'm just proud of what we've done here on this show um you know and like we said at the very beginning of this learning how to dance with each other um and like al said you know we've branched out and um on the things we talk about and the way we talk about them and uh, we've got a lot of ideas ahead for season three that could, we, we could even branch out even more so i'm excited about that so, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just proud of how we've evolved. So uh, evolution will be my work. Evolution. I love it. Like, it just says so much about so many things. So, all right. Uh, Keith and Thomas, what y'all got going on? Hey, Thomas, go ahead and give me a word of the day. <laughs> okay. So my word, I would say um, accomplish, as I said, like last week that I was going on this spiritual type journey and trying to read the Bible with my sister and some cousins and one of my girlfriends. And I usually quit the second week. 
So it was really a struggle. I've to- even told myself that, but I finished. And so I just feel accomplished that I didn't actually just quit and didn't read or anything like that. So it's on to the third week. So y'all definitely pray for me while I'm praying and trying to read the Bible, y'all. So I am so proud of you, Kiga. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. All right. So my word for the day is is an acronym, uh, NBA. The National Basketball Association. Uh, as you know, my, my Bulls are looking pretty good. I know this is not the show, but I'm excited about the Bulls. So, NBA is my word. I was about to say, NBA, never broke yeah. again. What's going on? What's, what's, what's happening? <laughs> is, is, is that what NBA stands for? Never broke again, huh? Hey, never broke what, again, huh? And hey, you know what's dope about that, though, Lay? It's because, like, NBA young boys selling everything and they got socks. I see kids with book bags and stuff. And I was like, wow, he's really making money off, you know, really making money. He has an enterprise off this. Mm -hmm. So I I think that's very dope and kudos to NBA young boy for that. Never broke again. Never broke again. Right. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. So as we get into the last show, the last season, and coming off of two shows where the brothers did a little show. I think that's how Ladine put it. <laughs> they, 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 they had their own little show or something. I, I can't. You really dismissed it. You just, I, I, you dismissed it real quick and, 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 and I dirty like. Myself. I mean, you did, but ain't nobody forget what you said though. And um, so you know, we come off. Uh, we did our little show, and y'all did y'all magnificent, amazingly. <laughs> Insightful, you know you're so. wrong for that. Al. You are so <laughs> wrong. As, as y'all just empowering, just the, the this queen, just all of that, and y'all, y'all did y'all thing. I think she patted us on the head when she said it too. I, I feel like I got mushed actually. All right? Yeah. Yes. Can was, y'all? Um, just, Al, you cannot. It was keep a, an attempted this. pat, but in the midst of it. She just said, you know what? Why am I patting these guys? Let me just mush them while I'm here and just mush them. I feel like that's what really happened. But <laughs> hey, since we here, let it go. What we what we want to talk about tonight is really the opportunity is tonight to have some rebuttals. Right. So if there was something your significant other, your partner, your life's you know, just all of that said something that you was like, yo, really? TSBS, as in that's some bullshit. Tonight is the night to get it off your chest. If you're feeling froggy, come on. Tonight's the night to jump. Anybody want to jump into the ring and say, I'd like to say TSBS on something that one of your your your, your partners said in, in the show? Anybody want to jump out in there and say TSBS? TSBS. Okay, what you got? funnier than you wow like i heard you on your podcast on y'all's show talking about you know y'all did this thing and it was real cute it was I, actually i enjoyed it you was about it. to say it was cute see you was about to no, say no no no, no. I, I was but i realized like i had to pull back and i realized i was being petty but i did, I did enjoy y'all's show like real talk i did and y'all started off with this thing of, you know, y'all had a couple of questions and who's this, the male, the female, the wife or the husband, whatever, who's funnier, who's, I don't know. I can't remember all the categories that y'all did, but I just remember the funnier thing. And so it's funny, well, eh, eh, ironic, right? It's funny because like we've talked about this for years and years and years and years. And at the end of the day, like Al, well, I feel... I know that you think that you're like, eh, you're cute and all of that. Like, and you do get chuckles. Like, I'm just saying. But real talk, I'm funnier. My funniness is like more authentic. Like, I'm, not, I'm not a stand up comedian, you know, but I'm that, like, yo, when we in the conversation, just like my shit is just like witty. Like, I, I also have, like, a dry humor that I understand that most people, like, kind of, like, it's above them. Or maybe it's below them. Like, I don't know. Like, either way, but I'm just saying, like. She says she's way more popping than you. With I'm, the I'm just on, on a one-to-one. Like, on a one-to-one, my shit is funnier than yours. That's what I'm saying. 
I'm I'm not even gonna get into it because we could do a, a, a survey like Keita did and and and, 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 and <laughs> <laughs> I, I could do a survey monkey and, and something tells me ninety six percent of my respondents will say me. But I am not gonna I'm not gonna pull a Keita on this one. I'm just gonna say that no talk. Let's just talk facts. My family is funny in the U. I've been raised to be funny. Ain't nobody funny in your family but you. And yeah. and while Ooh. while I Ooh. appreciate Ooh. while I appreciate that you have <laughs> since I met you like <laughs> acquired the the comedy gene. I can appreciate that. Ain't no way in hell that your 30 years of hanging around glimpse acquiring a funny gene can compare to me being raised 50 years, 51 years deep around some funny ass mugs. And, and and it just don't compare. That's all I gotta say. All and I'm saying, going, I'm I was, going I'm, I was born in I'm the saying. darkness. Number one, if you being raised for 51 years, there's a motherfucking problem. You should stop being ra- being raised at like 18. I'll even give you to that parent who's like the super helicopter parent to 21. But ain't nobody raising you until you 51. That's all I'm saying. I'm just I'm just saying. And you know, while it's like, all right, all the glimpses think the other glimpses are funny cuz that's all who that's really all you're talking about. Yeah, I'm not funny. No, I'm not oh, oh, oh. I'm just kidding. I'm just, just kidding. Saying, y'all's funny. And I'm just saying, yes, y'all have a little bit of humor. We get a little chuckle here and there. All I'm saying is that between me and you, Al, I'm not even talking about the other glimpse, but between me okay. and you, Al, I'm just saying. Um, um, listen, listen, let me let me. Yeah, I hear what you're going to say. No, no, you don't. Because I'm getting surprised myself. Go ahead. And I'm saying, between you <laughs> but, and me, go, we light up a motherfucking room together. All I'm saying is that we're team funny. We are team, team funny. And period, that's it. I'm I'll leave it at that. Props. I'll leave it I'm at that. I'll, I'll leave it at that. Like, I'll leave it at that. Go. You're right. I'll let it go. I won't even mention we, that. We, I won't even mention that I'm funnier than you. I'm going to leave it alone. Man. I'm going to stop nah, right here. You don't need to mention that because I'm funnier than you. Next. I'm, right, I'm so, bringing it up. I'm funny. Hey, Dean and JR or Keena and Thomas, which one of I'm, y'all want to go next? What I'm, would you like to rebut on what you heard on either the male or the female? show. But if you want to fill out the survey, it will be at Alvin Glimp is funny at the gene. <laughs> 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 <I'm just saying. laughs> oh, well, look, because y'all ain't speaking up. So guess what? I got some Ooh. shit to say today. Now, talk, talk that shit. Talk your <laughs> shit. What you got? Talk that shit. Um, let's see. So, first of all, my husband gave me the business, y'all. I'm talking about Hey, Where this is a rebuttal I'm show. Me. I'll say what I said. <laughs> you, you, you're in charge of your rebuttals. Don't speak for him. Right. Don't talk about yourself. No, I don't baby. care. They get to hear that he went in on me. All right? And that's it. So now, uh, let's see. First of all, I, I wasn't even going to say nothing, actually. I think I'm funnier than him. He said he, that I'm like couch funny. No, you couch funny, all right? But anyway, <laughs> what else did he say? There was so much. He said also about the whole being nice thing, talking about the one who's usually the asshole is the nice one and the nice one's the ass. No, that is not true. I am a genuinely dope nice, amazing human being. That doesn't mean that I don't get my five minutes of petty, and when I want to talk my shit, I get to talk my shit, all right? But all around, I'm a genuinely beautiful human, and every motherfucking body that steps into Ladeen's five feet of space understands how incredibly fucking nice I am, okay? So, I'm done now. You could go. <laughs> I, I think that was more about them than about us. What you talking about? I'm just saying, like, they the fucked up ones, not us. 
Okay. Uh, every rapper from the Bronx ahead, think Jay, they nice. In, every rapper from the Bronx think they nice. Um, but anyway. <laughs> I ain't from the Bronx. <laughs> <laughs> Don't I'm talking. Here. We, we I'm, originated. Don't I'm, I'm, there we go. All right. Um, but yeah. Um, were you were you done with your rebuttal? Done for now. Okay. All right. So I, I didn't realize I was um, it was that much of a pain to be married to me. Um. So apparently, you ain't know. Because <laughs> you ain't hey, married. Didn't we already tell you you wasn't funny? Can I can I finish my? <laughs> Are you talking to me? Yes, let me. Yes, let me. Nobody want to be married to. Yes, let me get my rebuttal out, homie. Every okay. every rapper from the Queens think they but, think they but, nice. But if you want to, and they funny, let me get my rebuttal out. My rebuttal game strong. Um, but anyway, um, but yeah. So first of all, my my wife gonna come with some. I'm smart, which is like that ain't got nothing to do with how you feel. I would have been smart if I married. Me alone. They ain't got nothing to do mm-hmm. with you. I, I was agree. smart regardless. I... My brain has mm-hmm. nothing to do with how I make you feel and mm-hmm. my, why I married to you or why mm-hmm. you married me. I'm smart anyway. So that was that, that was some TSBS when I when it came to that question. That was um, the TSBS, but what you gonna give her? Uh-uh, bitch, first of all, you agreed and you were like, yeah, you know, I totally agree because I love Alvin's mind too. So now you talking about it was TSBS. Gina, what's you this is a this is a rebuttal show within a rebuttal. Right, show. that's why I'm like <laughs> within gen and it's intra it's intra it's got cross like, genders too. Answer the question, and mm-hmm. that's not what I would have given to the answer to this. question question however i do love my hu- my husband's mind right. now let me a- answer the question that was asked mm. <laughs> i'm just saying right anyway go, go ahead jr uh, and, 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 and then jana when i asked her about it she said well maybe i answered the question wrong i said well it ain't got nothing to do with me either Right, just saying me <laughs> right <laughs> exactly that, that's what i'm saying same thing you just told her right and uh so yeah so that was the first thing because it had nothing to do with her um and then um her her when she went to go expand on it like i thought she was gonna come with some real reason why my brain blows her away she says because i could research cars and shit i'm like what (laughs) because i could google Hey, that, that comes Cause in I, handy. Because I know how to use years years when you need to Google. You're so damn ungrateful for the little bit of credit that I that I went to give it. That's not all I the said. The little bit yeah, of credit. The little that. bit of credit. You're I right. Said, right. But that's not what, just what I said. Because at the end, I did <laughs> say, I clearly said, all right? I said, so I love everything that comes with the fact that that man researches and I like that he introduces me into new things. That was a small example. But so the, talk, JR, with, so like, with my amazing brain, the one thing that you pinpoint that jumps into the top of your mind is that I can that use Google. I thought it was a good example. Okay. No, Jay. Yes. Okay. As we, as Al and I are looking for the car, for a car, I don't know if y'all know. I don't know. We were asking a couple of weeks ago, so we in the, we in, mm. you know, the business looking for a new car. Right. But I really appreciate the fact that the same way that Ladine did, and she expressed that she did, that she appreciates the fact that, yo, like, she ain't got to worry about that. It's a, Jay is going to look at these cars. He's going to make sure... And I'm satisfied with what I have. There's some stuff that I haven't thought about, but I know when Jay is on this, he's going to think about yeah, this man. and this right. and this, and he's going to have me look at this car and this car and this car to make sure that I'm satisfied with what I have. Like, yo, real talk, that's what she said. That's and a big fucking deal. 
for that same thing because as we going through this process i don't have to do shit like he sends me cars and he's like yo you like this you like this what about this i already checked out this and like real talk on so many days that is what we are appreciating that man is going to step up and be like yo i got you on this you have to do nothing but show up <laughs> it's fucking amazing and it's because you introduced me to different things and because yes you got a beautiful fucking brain and I benefit from that beautiful brain on a daily fucking basis how is that not dope as shit yo I need to understand but it's okay it's okay because he'd have a dope brain if he was with Rakisha from next door Okay, uh, that, that's see, true, that's, that's but Rakisha right. might not appreciate that beautiful ass, ass fucking ass brain. brain. Okay. See, that's why we have She'll it. just appreciate the other brain. Ooh. <laughs> Hello! And Kita for the kill. <laughs> Okay, I, I I think he's yeah, funnier than Pooh now. So um, so. We need to get some clarification to get some further understanding. And get they get they shit off their chest. That's why we're doing this. Well, um, Pooh is not here right just a minute. He'll be here in a second. But I want to rebuttal against Al first. Oh, 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 oh. Don't keep that. Don't well, oh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh no, hold on. Go on, Keita. Go on. <laughs> because I I didn't like the fact that he put all the women in the category. When he was saying on the show that women don't want to hear your point of view, just hear in a deeper voice. Hear that yeah. point of view in a deeper voice. <laughs> you're right. You're right. I shouldn't have put all the women. I should have just put you. the women I've met in my life. You're right. <laughs> you're so foolish. I don't agree with that because men really think that all the time. Like, we don't want to hear their point of view, but we're hearing it. We're here to listen. Are oh, you guys are you wait, wait. you might say you here to listen. And you might you might you I don't even know if you hear us. But it damn sure don't make a difference when we talk it. But it does, I think that's what you you're making in your brain. So what would give us evidence of difference? But you're making assumptions. No, no, no. I understand yeah. that. But what would show us different though? That you don't listen to us, what happens usually? That would tell us different? No, we we listen. We listen, but just because we maybe give our opinions and maybe our opinions are a little louder than yours doesn't mean that we li- that we're not listening to you. Thank Peter, you. can you and say just that? Because, yes, sister, yes. I'm saying yes. In addition to that, so question. Just because we don't do what you say doesn't mean that we haven't listened. Right. So if, uh, if, I was you're, say if you're so busy trying to be, <laughs> if you're so busy trying to be louder than us, when do you have your time to listen? It's not about being busy. Yeah, to be no, 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 no. Just be we that didn't it. say that. Your no. boy said that. No, but Peter no, just no, said. Listen it. to his question. Peter listen just question. said that just because our opinion may be louder than yours doesn't mean we're not listening. And I know everyone on here has heard the old saying that that's why God gave you two ears and one mouth. So you can listen twice as more, twice as much as you talk. So when do you have time to listen if you're so busy trying to be louder than us? We're but just because we're loud, loud, thank you. Go ahead. Just All because right. we're loud, that that doesn't mean that we didn't listen to what you're saying. We may be trying to get our point across. So you have to be loud your to point get your across, point across. But what we're what we're listening to. So you have to be loud to get your point across. No, maybe we have to be actually. loud because y'all won't listen. So now we don't listen. It's, it's, and, and that's what it feels like. It's, it's, it's more of a, if you, I'm trying to, you are trying to convince us that your point is right. Not, right. not trying to listen to my opinion. And so what, what my data suggests is that when I tell you something that agrees with what you said, the reaction is different. When I come with a contrary opinion, it's usually a whole nother level of headache. So while you might think that it makes a difference, it doesn't make a difference, and you just love. Oh, we listening, we listening. Just tell us, you know, whatever you think. Nah, not really. You don't want to hear what we got to say. Real talk. What my data says to me, with you and me, right, Al and Gina, like real talk. 
<clears throat> what the data says is I have to speak really, really loud because you're not listening. Mm-hmm. And repeat ourselves. But now, yet, when I might talk be true. really, really loud because you're not listening, somehow in your mind, that translates to a negative about Gina. Like, Gina's just not listening. I keep trying to say what I'm saying, but she ain't listening. It's not that I'm not listening. It's really that I'm, I just feel like I'm not heard. Mm. And so... Real talk, I'm talking louder because I feel like I'm not being heard. And so that's what the average human does. We just talk louder and louder and louder and louder and louder until we feel like we're heard. So so it sounds like both can be true. Then Absolutely. that y'all y'all feel like y'all getting heard and y'all not mm-hmm. listening to us. Absolutely. There's always more than well, one. But if we're not listening just because we're being loud, it doesn't mean that we're not listening. And oh, so you can be loud and talk and listen at the same we time. We can be loud and listen. Yeah, I could have listened, heard you, and understood. But now, but what I'm saying now, I'm not feeling heard. So now I might just get louder. And sometimes I think that the louder could be um, uh, that my perspective might be grander and bigger. My tone of voice might not be so loud, but what I got to say might have a little more meaning, and you might take it as me being loud. Okay. So it can, you know, be a two what things. A, what also comes out of that, though, is that you feeling like you're not being heard could be misperception, and a you thing has nothing to do Absolute. with us. Absolutely, it could. Agree. Absolutely. Agree. And so, just like you guys are assuming, then we may be assuming the same thing, but sometimes it's also your actions. So if we're saying, if we're talking to you, and then you're not giving us like the feedback that we maybe are feeling like we're not heard. So I think that's the problem too. Right. right. So that's time, where, that that is, feedback is hearing that you're right. right. Right, exactly, well, and no, getting no. something we talked about before. That you're right, then you listening. Then your thing is, well, then you ain't listening. Let me tell it to you louder. Sometimes so. it is no different than y'all, though. Right, and I also, I also think that because I say this all the time about a lot of men in my life, Jr. is definitely one of the main ones. But my mother says it about her husband too. When she goes to get an answer from from him, or she's speaking to him, right? He's looking for a way to solve the problem. Sometimes, yes, right? That's true. He's looking for the logical way to get through whatever the issue is versus it's like sometimes i'm like but jay i didn't ask you to do that i didn't ask you to find a fucking way sometimes i just want you to shut the fuck up and listen or sometimes i need you to just hear me or maybe you know i might be being a little emotionally impulsive right now and so now i'm getting fucking louder because you're trying to find a solution i didn't ask you to fucking find the solution so i mean i think it just depends on the tech the the context of the conversation and like what's happening at hand but yeah. the the, the more aware I am of, like, who we are and our dynamics, the more I see, like, how toxic some of our conversations can get. <laughs> well, and I mean, then I think, I also... think being aware of I think being aware of who we are, though, is also acknowledging and I, I can I can relate to that wanting to fix it. Like you put a problem in front of me. I'm trying to fix it. Right. And so I can appreciate that it has taken me years to understand that in every instance that she's sharing something. It's not for me to fix it. And I get that. But my understand in understanding who we both are, my impulse, everything in me, who I was raised to be in this bitch is to solve your problem. I get that. But sometimes you looking to solve the problem also might minimize what it is that I'm looking to get across. See what I'm saying? So it doesn't mean that you're it doesn't mean that what you're saying, but. It feels like sometimes when y'all like try to make it so logical and there is such a bigger picture, but because you look to simplify it, it can feel as if sometimes you're completely minimizing and you didn't hear shit that I fucking said. Oh my God. Say it again. Well, uh, but I think it's a fucking again. I think it's a matter of, again, a matter of how we communicate. And I say we as individuals, not man versus woman. But I'm saying as individuals and how we receive things individually 
because I don't think you can just simplify it like you're saying. You can't throw a blanket over everything and say that us trying to solve something is simplifying it. No, I'm saying in certain situations. I was right. very specific I'm, with saying. Right, no, I'm, I'm, I'm saying in concept. right. I'm saying in any situation, like because to me, some, trying to solve something is the furthest is the exact opposite of simplifying it. And understand that every time you are claiming that I'm minimizing it, understand you talk about you know how do you how do you feel how does a woman feel when I treat you a certain way, understand what is our reaction when you say you're minimizing it because we could if we came back to you and said yo why are you maximizing this problem you would be like what the fuck is that right <laughs> exactly. I understand. I but but you you I feel like you have the right to say I, I'm minimizing it like I'm not giving you the respect due. And I'm like, no. yo, what the fuck is that? No, Why right, can't I just no. be naturally trying to solve the problem? I ain't dissing exactly. your shit. Exactly. You're, you're naturally trying to solve the problem, and you're looking for the logic inside of it, and you are looking to simplify it, which is right. not a problem, but it feels as if you're not listening because it feels as if you're minimizing. I'm not saying that you are minimizing it. What I'm saying it is put your perspective but what it feels like and what you're actually doing are two different things and that's the difference right now, but what i'm what i'm point is now you understand what it feels like and you are taking it as i'm telling you that this is what you're doing i'm not telling you what you're doing i'm telling you that what you're saying makes me not makes me feel but be i feel like this when you say that do you understand? I, I, so I I'm understand. Not saying that that's that you are minimizing it, but it feels as if what I have to say is no longer important because you just made it so incredibly fucking logical and simple. Does that make sense? It does make sense. It does make sense. <laughs> I, I've and been now, listening, even though I've been trying to interject, I've been listening to you every word. But right. what I'm asking you to do is listen to me for a second. All right. I had to now, say too. <laughs> right. If you were to be in the other, be in my seat, and I said, I know your natural impulse because you are emotionally driven is to take, you know, make this into something that's big. I get that. But really, you really maximizing this issue. It really ain't that fucking important. Imagine what it feels like for us to hear that you are just diminishing the, but us by saying you're just minimizing this. No, we're not minimizing it. It's who we naturally are. It ain't no disrespect to you as much as it would be disrespect for me when you say I'm minimizing it. It's not. It's just who we naturally are and that's how we bring it. That's it. I ain't minimizing it as much as you maximizing it. And I'm not. But it's like real disrespectful when you say that. I feel like we're saying the same thing. We, we are, are except you're not different. giving me you're not giving your your man credit. You're not looking at it from the other perspective. And, you're not. Right. So you're not you're you're only looking at it from how it makes you feel or how you feel when it happens to you, not vice versa. But if it's our issue to begin with. <laughs> yes, Gina. Yeah, guys. Like, yeah. If it's our problem, if we're the one coming to you and saying A, B, and C, it wasn't your problem to begin with. Mm -hmm. So why are we talking about how you feel about it? It's uh, not your motherfucking problem. Okay, it's because no, uh, they're I'm, making you, it their problem. No, you can't answer the question for us. I'm answering the question. <laughs> like, all, all three of y'all done spoke to answer this fucking question. <laughs> what no, I'm says, the one just, asked the question. Right. That's, okay, so I'm, I'm answering it. Just like with anything else in life, once you give it to somebody else, at that point, it's not for you to determine how they deal with it. So once you bring something to me and you that give me, time. and once you give it to me, mm -hmm. I handle it how I handle it, naturally or otherwise. And with that becomes also the the opportunity for you to to kind of determine the the the, the source of you that you're going to. Like, if I want something answered about cooking, I'm not going to go ask a basketball coach. I'm going to ask a chef, right? And if because if the basketball coach doesn't handle it the way I'm expecting them to, I ain't going to blame blame but myself. So when I go to the person I know that's going to try to solve this and they try to solve it, why am I blaming them for, ha for 
for doing what they do instinctually. It would be like us bringing something to you and you getting all emotional and shit. We would be like, what the fuck? Like, damn it, you know she emotional? If you didn't want to get, her to get emotional, <laughs> right. why'd you bring it to her? That's what she do. Right. You want her to be logical now? That's not who she is. Right. White folks cry on a lion's cage and they get bit. It's the lion being a lion. You can't blame the lion. Right, but then when we That's don't we come ask to you with shit because respect, we know what the answer is going to be, of a lion. then, then y'all get mad. Well, why didn't you come to me? Because I didn't want to hear that fucking answer. Because I knew where you was going to go with it. That's why. So, you got to under, we understand y'all perspective. We get it. And sometimes I need JR to say to me, when he does at times come to me and he be like, Lay, it's really not a big fucking deal. Sometimes I need him to do that. And I need him to be that. But sometimes I don't, and when I don't need it, I let him know I didn't fucking need that right now. No, thank you don't. You. But no, thank Gen- you. Generally, you don't let me know up front. I need you to solve this, or I need you to don. I need. I don't need. Generally, it's left to me to figure out after after the fact. Um, <laughs> so you don't let me know. So that's what I'm saying. Is bottom line is once you give me something, I'm gonna handle it the way I handle it until oh, I'm told otherwise. Question. When is it okay for us to say, I don't need you to be emotional right now? Mm. You can say that. You can oh, say I know that. I, can, I know I can say that. I can say whatever the hell I want. I know that. Yeah. What I'm asking right. you is, from your no perspective. Issue. I have no issue with someone saying that to me. Because then that's a part of communication. And that's what a lot of relationships are missing. It's like, you don't want to communicate. And it's okay to say how you feel at that moment. I like that, Keita. I feel you on that. That sounds I good in theory. That. Right. I, I, I respect that in theory. I respect that in theory. But see, that's, Why y'all that's, act like that? With men, y'all think, y'all think too much into it. You think you're going to hurt someone's feeling. You don't want to say too much or whatever. But when you're in a relationship, it's fine to say how you feel. Except Keita. You don't like. Except Keita. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Keita, Keita, Keita. In, yours, in y'all show, do you remember what was the thing that you loved about Thomas? Yeah. Uh, what was it? With um, with safety. like being Safe space, with, right? right? Yeah, with the safe space, yeah. Why, where do you think that safe space comes from? You think that's from him speaking his mind? <laughs> <laughs> Um, and that's from him communicating. Where you Thomas going with the issue? What I'm, what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is that safe space that you're talking about comes from restraint. Mm. The same way other people treating you unsafe in this world, I get treated unsafe every motherfucking day because people talk mm-hmm. reckless. A safe space comes from restraint. It ain't from saying with your mind, talking what you feel. That's what they do in the street to me. I get that. That's my point. No, 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 no. I, I disagree. I disagree. I totally disagree with that. <laughs> because a safe space doesn't mean that, like, when you say speaking your mind and restraint, he can come to me however he wants to come to me. You don't have to come to hurt my feelings, but you're coming to me showing me like how you're feeling about the situation okay i mean i understand what you're saying i i hear you but i i I'd like to i like to get Pooh's thoughts on how he creates that safe space is he really speaking his heart here right, you go because again to me it sounds great in theory right it sounds great in theory it, it, does. it sounds great in theory but some of that... can't hear you gina Gina's on mute. She Allen for the last show, y'all. She <laughs> got to go out. Somebody got to be Allen on this show. Yeah, Allen tonight. It, it sounds. It sounds. It sounds great in theory. Yes, but also like I feel like with Al anyway, like you. Mm, you don't want to <laughs> test the waters. Right. And so it's this thing of and 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 we do it as humans all the time. Right. Like we just depend on history to tell us what's going to happen. True. We depend on like what you did last week, like what you did. And if I'm saying to you, like, boo, 
I'm trying to get to a place where talk to me. Tell me what you thinking. Like, tell me. It doesn't matter. And because and, I know that this is true for Al. Al likes want he wants to not like hurt your feelings. And I'm saying like sometimes like hurt that shouldn't feelings. that shouldn't be at the forefront of your mind. You know, say what needs to be said, say what I need to hear, and trust that even if I don't hear it, because I do, like, like real talk, like, in, and, I, and I think for, for a lot of humans, right, like, you hear something for the first time and you react instinctually, like, for the first time that you hear it, and then maybe, you know, in minute seven, you've had a chance to be like, oh, shit you know what, let me think about what he's really saying, and that makes a whole lot of shit. But at the same time, it's like mm, you gotta give space for people to grow in that way. So if I'm saying to you, like, all right, I understand that typically or like 10 years ago or five years ago, I responded this way, but I've been working on that. And so now here... Here today, right, you're right, like even Mm -hmm. yesterday, here today, if I'm saying to you, I'm trying to be a better person in this aspect, right, like, what better ways to support me other than to give me practice in being who I'm saying I want to be? Like, your response to be like, oh, fuck it, this is how you always respond, this is how you used to respond, like, oh, I don't think you're going to respond, like, Stop doing that. Give me the opportunity to do better and to be better. Break up. Okay, okay. Gina. Gina. But and Gina, that's what I was trying to kind of like say on our show. Um, what I was looking for Thomas to do, and you said it perfectly. Like, if I'm on this journey and I want to be like a different woman or just doing something different outside of what I'm normally doing because I'm changing as a woman. I want you to come with me on this journey. Like, if you have questions or if if you don't like something, like, you know, just say it. Right. There's nothing wrong with that. It's nothing wrong with saying, you know, I don't like this Kita. You know, I may be sitting here drinking all the time or whatever. It's, It's okay for you to say you don't like that. I maybe don't like it when you first say it to me, but eventually I'll think about it because I'm here for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll be like, well, I understood what Thomas was saying. I'll I'll try to change better. I wouldn't do that. Yep. That's something that he doesn't like. So it's okay to say whatever you got to say. Absolutely okay. Because how else do you give the person the chance to meet your needs if you don't say in what you need? I'm just going to yeah. repeat what JR said. Sounds good in theory. What <laughs> again? Okay, and yes, it I'm just gonna wonderful. say. I'm just gonna say right there. Sounds good in theory. Yes, it sounds wonderful in theory, but you also can't say that it's not what it is because you ain't willing to try it. But y'all act like we ain't never spoke our mind. But there we go. Wait, you still living off that. of the evidence. But, no, no. Did I say that? that? You're right. You're right. You're right. I'm living off the evidence. And what right. the hell am I thinking? Being data driven. There you go with the right. History. Right, right, because but, you're being too logical, be a little more open to the possibility well, and, and hold me in a different space if you want to be held in a different space. I absolutely Period. understand that. Oh, I that do. Love Jones. I, I get that. I absolutely understand that. But what Al's trying to say, and when I think, and what I think Al's trying to say, and what I'm saying as well, is I'm sure we've all suffered some kind of injury, right? Um, I've had several knee injuries in my life. And at one point, I had knee injuries back to back to back. And when someone would reach for my knee, I would jump because it's that scar tissue. It's that memory that's there, even though my knee was no longer injured. So that's what I was trying to say is the history does matter. And in theory, it sounds great to say, hey, let's do it this way. And let's only depend. Let's only rely on what's going to happen instead of what instead of what has happened. When you're. In like if you're constantly reminded and you have been constantly reminded of the injuries of the past, it's hard to not flinch when somebody reaches for your knee. You get what I'm saying? 
So yes, in, in, that's what I, so that's what I'm saying. In theory, it sounds great, but to that injured the person who suffered the injuries in the past, it's really difficult for you to say now I'm ready to move on. Move with me. Understand, and that's also vice versa, and that's the point where we're trying to get to also. So at the same time, if you but you still want to be held in a, in a different space, you want us to approach the situation with an open mind, understanding that it might be possible that you can be different and you can be better, no matter what those past injuries have been, right? <clears throat> so but that's but not what that, we're talking that, about. It is what we're talking about. It no, is what we're talking no, about. it is, is absolutely because exactly. it, it, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, Gina. Go ahead lady. No, no, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. It no, really just falls we down. Were, we were talking about it from the perspective, I thought, from you know, a man giving a woman safe space by not always speaking his mind. That's what I thought. I thought we were that's what about. we were talking about too. Me too. No, we we're, we're talking about each person giving the other grace to learn and grow, right? right. And for, so for for you men to be saying, like, y'all are staying in the space and we trying to do blah, 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 and every time. And all we're saying is that we are saying to you, we are trying to move, in certain instances, we're trying to move out of that space, Right. But what we're hearing from you all and what we're receiving from you all is now, 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 now. All we're hearing is the past. So question. it's very discouraging for someone who is trying to do something different. So this is a real question because now because I, we, based on what we just said, we were totally talking about two different things. So now I'm so are you constantly trying to move out of a different space? Or, Ain't nobody constantly trying to do nothing. Right. So that's y'all what, so, not trying to constantly so, do anything. We are not constantly that, doing anything. I'm, I'm trying to ask a question, like really legitimately, I'm confused. So if you're not trying to get out of a out of a space. No, no, no. That's not what I said. No. You use you, the you, word you, constantly. Right. And so, I'm saying nobody. So, that's why I asked the question. Let me please let me talk. Woman, Can you please let me talk, Jenna? Doing something. Okay, and you said that, so now I'm asking, I'm trying to get clarification. So if you're not constantly trying to move out of the space, how do we know when you are and when you're not? In the same way when that we know that you are or you're not trying to move in or out of the spaces that you say that you are. All I'm saying is, JR, that doesn't answer my we question. are all human, that, that and so not nothing is constant every day, every minute. We're trying mm-hmm. In the same way that you all are trying to move wherever you're trying to move to. Okay, so therefore, you understand the confusion behind when do I speak my mind? When do I not? When do I know that this is a safe space to like make her feel safe? Or this is the time I unleash on what I really feel? Okay, and now hold on, both really of us quick. Be hold trying on. to make each other safe, right? And and right. And so, but... le- no, wait, please <laughs> let me clear the safe space shit up because now the safe space that Keto was talking about had nothing to do with whether or not her husband is holding his fucking tongue. Yo, I right? got, I'll Period. just I'll so, just acknowledge hold that. On. I understand what Al said, and I love the way Al put it, and that's great. But what I'm saying is this. My safe space with you, it has nothing to do with the fact that you hold your tongue in certain instances because there's plenty of instances that you don't, and that doesn't make me feel less safe that you don't hold your tongue. So the safe space that he provides has nothing to do with the fact that you speak your, that you may speak How do you know that was her safe space, not your safe space? Right. Because because that doesn't said, sound like what she just But she was right. talking about, she said yeah. her and, and JR. I understand that, but no. I guess no, I, understand, that, I understand what you're talking about, but that's not what I was talking about. I was, exactly. talking about. I was talking about, I was talking about what Al said the whole I'm time. Saying, okay. What I'm saying is that what Al referred to, I understood what Al was referring to, and it, and it still, to me, was completely different from what Keita was saying, okay? Because Keita's safe space is not just because he doesn't criticize or whatever. She's saying, period, her man offers her safe space. 
Hell I guess yeah. what okay. I remember I from what Keita said. What what I remember what, what, I remember what Keita, Keita said. It sounded like, <laughs> based on the comments or lack of comments, the way he verbally engaged her, Keita. she felt safe. Keita. Keita, can you clear Keita. this up? And that, therefore, what I'm talking about is that 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 verbal engagement, I believe, and this is my opinion, I can't speak for Pooh, I believe would be different if he truly 100 percent, 100 percent kept it real in terms of this is how I feel. And I'm just saying, while I hear what you're saying, like, yeah, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. I don't know if you'd feel so safe if that's how the other person brought it 100%. Mm-mm. And y'all wouldn't know because you don't do it. So there's that. Well, how do, how do you, that's my question, like, Dane, to you is, how do you know when I'm not speaking my mind? If I'm not speaking my mind? Like, how do you, how do you know that? I, I, I don't know. All I know I is what my I, I asked, I, I asked, I asked Ladine that question. Specifically <laughs> oh, Ladine. Right. Oh, I ain't know. I was the last person to speak. So when you say, how do you know? I thought you talking to me because I was which, the person on the house. Which is why I, I said Ladine, I'm asking know. you. I don't know if you're speaking your mind or not, but I agree with Keto when she said I still would prefer because that's a different level of communication. So I would prefer for you to speak your mind. And no matter what the fuck you said to me, the fact that you prefer Provide me a safe space that I feel safe with you, around you, in my home. For so many other different fucking reasons. If I feel that you provide me a safe space, there is nothing that you're going to say that's not going to fucking provide me with the safe space or that's going to alter whether or not I feel safe with you. Because for me, that safe space has nothing to do with what the fuck you're going to say. Because no matter what the fuck you say, you're to me, your actions have spoken way louder. So I don't feel that if I feel that if you speak your fucking opinion and you say what the fuck you I'm going to be more. I'm going to be happier that you said what was on your mind and spoke the fucking really real deal. Holy field to me. I'm going to respect that shit ten times more than you so, keeping that shit to yourself or talking to fucking Pooh and Al about. So basically... I'm, Right now, what you're doing is proving our point that you can't listen be and be loud at the same time. But you totally no, just got loud as fuck, and you didn't answer shit I asked you. So but let me let me um, let me say let let me say this. Right? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna end my part in this with saying I'm confused because I was talking. We was obviously talking about some completely different shit this whole time. So y'all go. No, ahead. but I, but I don't I don't think I don't think that we have been like I feel I like think I'm on a Seinfeld talking. episode. I, I think we've been talking about the same things, which is part of the problem. Yeah, okay. like I, I said to Al a few weeks ago, he was saying something to me, you know, and I, you know, whatever, right? And the point that I was making to him is that a part of why. I can't believe what you're saying or I can't go all in like you on this side or the next side or whatever it is, is because you guys make it a point to tell us that you feel like you can't be honest. You feel like you can't say what it is. You feel like you got to tell us what you think you want us to hear, blah, blah, blah. But what you don't understand is that 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 feeds into us when we're talking about not feeling safe. It it feeds into us not feeling safe. It feeds into us not believing what you're saying. It feeds into us like in all the insecurities that we may have because it boils down to like, yo, at the end of the day, y'all feel like you can't be honest because of how we're going to react. Y'all feel like you can't be honest because you ain't going to believe what we say. Whatever your because is. At the end of the day, you don't come 100. You see what the fuck is happening to me when I ask an honest question. I believe in what you're saying (laughs) if you have already said you not coming 100. I just just asked a 100 question. You saw what just happened to me, so... Wait, Um, where is Keita and Pooh? I didn't hear a question because I didn't hear. I ain't talking about you. I ain't talking about you. I'm talking about... 
And I want to know, Keila, can you clarify the shit we talking about right now? Please, man. Thomas, how you feel? What, what I want to hear Thomas first. Like, what do you Because, so, like, I'm definitely leaning towards what you're saying. That's definitely, like, what I'm saying. It's, like, no safe, um, you know, having the safe space and the no judgment. But, Thomas, how did you mm-hmm. feel about what I said? How do I feel about it? Yeah, what did you what do you think I'm talking about? I don't know. I mean, I don't know what you're talking about really, but I can only under ask because I if they were asking me like how I what I do or what I go about because that's what this whole thing was about. All right. So, could can I just repeat to you what was said while you were going and how we got to this point? Not everything, okay. but just the the beginning. All right. Yeah. So, Al uh, Kita said she had a rebuttal with Al and then Al mm-hmm. asked Kita about her safe space and you know how you make her feel like she's in a safe space okay. Al ended that by saying I think you would feel differently I think a lot of your safe space the, the feeling that you're in a safe space has to do with the fact that that Thomas doesn't speak his mind all the time like, mm-hmm. like, like we said on our show sometimes we do hold back right Right, right, right. And if he did, I think you may feel different about that safe space. That's what Al said. And that's where I thought what we were talking about. I don't know what everybody else was talking about, apparently, but that's what I thought we were talking about because Al mentioned that last part. And that's where I thought we were branching off from. But that's where we were. Don't don't do that, JR. No, <laughs> you just said we were talking about don't something do that, different. JR. I'm just saying, don't do that. We're talking about the same thing, Jay. We we are, of course we that. are. Of course okay. we are. Don't do that, Jay. Or what Al Man. was saying. Okay, I won't do that. So I guess that's what is what we're talking about. That was a great about. recap. I right. That was a great recap. You're welcome, by the way, Gina. I just recapped that for y'all. I didn't say thank you. Go, I said, but ahead, I did say Kita. you're welcome. Kita, go ahead, Kita. Kita, please. <laughs> go ahead, Tom. This time is going. Go ahead. What, what are we doing? What, Gina? I mean, what? Lay wants you to go ahead and do what Lay wants you to do. No, she was just trying to get me to explain my safe space. Right. Oh, and oh. whether or not you... Okay, so pool. Right. Do you feel, right, that mm-hmm. if you were to to speak your, your God-honest truth, mm-hmm. right, and communicate all of your feelings to Kita, mm-hmm. do you think that that would change her safe space with you no no i don't i don't think so because so when she when she comes to me when we talk like i don't think everything she says needs a an instant rebuttal i think some things just need a, an ear you know and and I, other things I need that's why we love you and other okay. things need a rebuttal so i guess that's that you know that that's where i am if i if I feel like she just, if she just needs an ear at the moment, I, that's what I give her. If I feel like, okay, she needs rebuttal or she she needs my opinion, that's when I give it in. So I, I guess I gauge it off what I feel of what she's saying. Do you feel that if you kept it a buck, right, <laughs> all the time and kept it really real, that that would change the way she felt? I mean, I, nah, I don't know. Nah. I, I don't, I don't think, think so because... True. I still get to the point of saying whatever I have to say, but it just not it may not be in that instant. You know, you get what I'm saying? Like I don't I don't think it has to come out right then and there. So have you do you think you've ever misjudged? Like do you think sometimes when you think she you just think she you think she needs your rebuttal and you've been oh. you you misjudged and maybe she just needed an ear? Have you been wrong at times? Yeah, I, I've been wrong before because if I can recall, she was like, oh, I didn't need that right now. <laughs> you know, I just, you know, I, of course, you know, I'm not 100% on that. I, I, I don't gauge it, you know, correctly all the time, but I'm sure I can recall her saying yes, that. I don't I don't need that. that. I don't, oh, I don't need that. I, I didn't need that right now. I, just, I need you to like, listen. I need you on my team right now. <laughs> you know, I, I don't need that right now. So, you know. All right. And then, and so what? when you do, whether you're right or you're wrong, what are you basing your response or lack of response off of? I, I it, it's, it's just, just I, I don't know, like, like maybe just, just maybe her emotion. emotion. So I'm, yeah, I'm basing it off her her emotion and how I feel about what you know what what she's saying. Okay. 
Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. Al was saying that he feels he feels like I have that safe space because you're not giving you're not like giving your all or what you really want to say to me. Mm-hmm. Like keeping like what Lay said, keeping it one hundred. But I said I don't feel that way because I must I feel like if you do keep it one hundred with me. I like that. Like mm. I like that communication because you know I say that all the time. Like yeah, Thomas, yeah, yeah. come on now. Yeah. Like come on and bring it. We need to. We need to get something going. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I need that. Like I feed off of that. But no, my safe space wasn't that Al at all. My safe space is exactly what Lay was saying. It's just a collective of things. Like I just that's just how I feel with him. And yeah, it's no judgment because I'm. I maybe do something that I feel like embarrassed that other people, you know, that I don't want other people to know, but there was never no judgment with him. But it does, it's not that because he's holding back from what he need to say to me. You don't think he judges you at all? Um, I don't think so. Okay. Well, first, I don't think he judged me at all. Um, you judge him? Kato. And what you say? You judge him. Do I judge him? Oh, I thought you saw I asked Thomas a question. I know, I was asking you, no, do you judge no, him? You no, you didn't. I don't I don't judge you. Oh, okay. No, but I do, because I've said that in the show. I do. Yes, you do. I said that. I said I need to work on that because okay. I do. Okay. Do you think you give Thomas the same safe space that he gives you. Now see, y'all come in with all these questions. Ooh, where's the rebuttal, Thomas? Let's talk about Thomas's rebuttal before I go Rebuttal day. Okay. This is rebuttal. This is a rebuttal right. show. You you hey, you threw one at me. Why can't we throw one at you? Well, yeah, you can Ooh. throw one at me. Well, um <laughs> I, I think, think that's I a great question. A safe space because I feel that's like not, I don't. That's not what she. She didn't. I do you. give you a safe space. She didn't ask you if you give me a safe space. What did she ask me? Could do, you repeat the question? Do you do you give him the same safe space he gives you? Yes, I said I give you the same the the safe space. But I think she's kind of like, I think it may be. I think the way she's saying is like different degrees to it. Thomas, do you think that Thomas yes. does Keita give you the same safe space that you give that you give her? The same yes. safe space. That, that is the question. Yeah, see what mm-hmm. I'm saying? That's the question. The same mm-hmm. safe space. Yes. I don't think she gives me the same safe <laughs> space. Mm-hmm. Okay. Not the not the same. I mean because that's when you put the same in it, that alters the answer. Okay, so hold on. So if we rated it on the scale of one to ten, and Keita said he gives me a ten and my safe space. What? 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 what Are you would really you going to do this, lady? Are you really going to yes. do this? But yes, listen, the reason this. why the reason why I'm stating that is because, like, so a lot I tell Keita, yo, that ain't what I need. You know, that ain't what I need. Yo, that ain't what I need. Yo, that ain't what I need. Like I, I say that a lot. You know, I, hey, I just needed you to. And because she, and it's her, it's her thing of, okay, not really being maybe just like, like an ear, you know what I'm saying? All the time. Like she wants to, she wants to give her opinion, you know, all the time and your opinion I don't think your opinion has to be given all the time. So I'm more of a J and Al. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Hey, I appreciate that. Hey, appreciate thanks that. for the compliment. Wait, wait, wait. You, you're more of what? A J and Al. Thank, appreciate the compliment. Appreciate that, Jeff, Thank you. In case dude. I wasn't paying attention. All right. You're going to learn the day. Damn right. Wake up. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to say that. You you I, I have no issue with that because yeah. I know. Where I'm wrong at because I, why? I no, that I'm doesn't make a, you wrong. A that doesn't make you wrong, wrong at all. So hold on. Yeah, just go back to Ladine's question. Well, yeah. I'm rating a that, nine, a eight. I'm, where would you give her? Well, yeah. I'm, well, I want to say this first. I'm saying this because <laughs> I grew up with a lot of men, so I do have a lot of male, 
you know, okay. me. Tendencies. Yeah. or whatever. Okay. So that yeah. sounds like you're more like a that's four then. No. Like no, 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 no. Keita, hold on. Our safe space that we give them is not going to be the same. I just meant as far as measurement, period, right? So it's not going to be the same. Even though I said the same safe space, the level of safeness that we give them is not, It's it, it, it just never is just because a woman in a relationship with a, with a man, okay, two people in a heterosexual relationship, I do feel that it is a man's job to make me feel safe. But at the same time, I do feel that he gets to have a safe space with me. They are going to be different. So just because the way you make him feel safe or you give him a different level of safeness, he that doesn't mean that it's less than. Right. It, it, yeah, it just, it just looks different. It's, right. like, it's I, I feel it. I feel... I feel as though it's still a 10. You know, it just looks different than what right. mine looks like. Well, I, I said I'm more of yeah. a hard-nosed person, yeah. and I always tell him that he... I, I, I'm not a person, like, even with my friendships or whatever, I'm not like a yes man that's around you. Like, I'm going to just give you the real. That's just how I feel. I'm not a yes person. Sometimes Thomas likes to have that yes person. No, I Even don't. though that's no. not negative, and see, that's, but he just and likes I, to go with the no, flow that's and a don't mis, fix that, nothing. That's a misconception. <laughs> that's a total misconception. I feel, I, like, I, I, I feel I, like we move the goalposts. I hate I, yes, I feel yes, like I feel like, like Ladine's mm-hmm. original question was, when you think about how poo makes you feel safe, when you comp- if that was a 10, mm-hmm. how does she make you feel safe in the same way? We understand she might make him feel safe in different ways, but I thought Lady Dean's question was, if one was a 10, how would you rate in regards to no judgment? That's the question I'm waiting to be asked. Answer. There you go. How would I rate her as in the no judgment portion? So I thought in regards to what she described, how you make her feel safe, whatever that is, I don't, you, y'all define it. How would you rate it? What's the reciprocity on that? Right. Does she relayed the same. Why are you making it so difficult? No, because I'm trying to. No, because I'm a literal person. I'm trying to see it. We know that's, we had that whole conversation already. That that's me. I'm I'm just trying to see how how I would would gauge it. You, you know, <laughs> that's just the type of person I am. It, Rate your wife's safe space. Damn it! One to ten. Give I already, us a number. He said I a 10. Said, I already said it's a 10, but it, it just looks different. All the, right. The, now, all right. Now, moving on. So, Pooh, you missed. We haven't heard your rebuttal yet. We need to hear your. We, we got to get off the safe space. We've been on okay, it for 10. Let's move off the safe space. All right. Pooh, we need to hear your rebuttal. Let's get it popping. What you got to say from what Keita said? Anything Keita said that you was like, nah, son, I'm not Man, feeling when, it. When I, when I heard the show when this and this and this kid talking about, yeah, just the same cat. The cat ain't change. He the <laughs> same guy. I was like, what? I ain't changed. <laughs> I'm the same guy since you know oh, oh three. Get out of here. So you know, I, I heard it. I was like, wow, this is crazy. It 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 was really it was really shocking, really, for her to say he ain't changed. I was like, wow. Okay, so I heard that. And also when she stated, um, yeah, during the pandemic, that kid ain't do nothing. He just chilled. He ain't work on nothing. He ain't do nothing. <laughs> and I was like, what? I wrote three, I wrote two programs that I'm implementing right now. Like, is she serious? So I, I just let that go. I just let that go. But I couldn't believe that that that, that she was saying, and not not a, not in fact that she said it. I couldn't believe that she was that she believed those things. <laughs> it, 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 it hurt. It hurt my feelings. I ain't gonna lie. Same, I, I was, it same it same sounds to me like Thomas, you ain't let nothing go. It sounded like you felt <laughs> right. real safe. I'm you felt like real safe when you heard. I don't know about how safe you <laughs> felt, but he, you know, he held on to that shit, Jen. Hey, hey Jen, slap. If he, if he let it go, he picked that shit right back up. Hey, Gina, but that was kind of funny what Al said. Thank you, lady. I'm like, am I the only one cracking up? That was a slap in my face. That was a slap in my face. Oh, oh, I'm so... saying late because he called me disgruntled. Oh, oh, and I no. still say the same thing like with Gina. Remember, I did this. I called the family members. Yes, Al, I did because I 
Really? <laughs> real, real talk, real talk, Keita. Real talk. I, I only bring it up because that was probably the funniest shit between both episodes <laughs> no. to me. I, real talk. I'm I'm driving to work, almost crashed. Right. When you said that, because I was cracking up so far. I just thought that was funny. I'm very competitive, I'm telling you. And I'm, well, I don't know about Gina's family. So, you know, Gina's my girl. So I'm not going to say anything about her family. But Thomas' family ain't funny like my family. I have a comedian. You ain't going to wear my family. You ain't going to wear my family. You don't know my people. You ain't been around my people. Are you saying the only person, the only person? Sixteen years. <laughs> dad is the only funny person in your family. I have comedians in my family. Your dad is the only funny person. Uh-huh. 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 Hey. And she and, and, and then she talking about she took a poll. Them all her best friends. What do you think? Of this? <laughs> <laughs> and, and her sister. What do you think they're gonna say? And I think before the end of the show. We can definitely give awards to each other, and my award that will go to Thomas is, <laughs> is definitely Mr. Holdback. Man, oh, 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 oh. wait, what? <laughs> All right, so <laughs> see, she giving out. So before before we get to the, we can do that. We can give out awards, but before we do, we do have we do have a we did have a follow up from a listener. Uh, we had a follow up question from a listener that um it is for Gina and Al. Oh. Uh, so the question was in regards to um, Al's Al's response to his to Gina's question of as a, as a man, what do I wish my wife knew, um, understood better about me? And Al's response was, and tell me if I'm wrong, Al. I'm trying to remember. I don't remember verbatim, but um, that I am who I am. I was raised how I was raised. I'm happy with mm-hmm. who I am, and. But that doesn't mean, and I accept others for who they are, um, but that doesn't mean that I wish to be who they are. I'm totally comfortable with who I am. That's, that's what I said. Okay. The question was for you and Gina, for you to clarify, and this is what I want to hear because I think I already know, but for you to clarify, what are you and who, what do you mean by I'm happy with who I am? What do you mean by that um, in detail? And Gina, um, how do you see him? What do you, what do you think he means um, because you're, you you did address that on y'all show, as far as um, his his answer to that question. So Al, how do you see yourself in your response in your uh, response to that question? And Gina, what do you think he meant by, I guess, how you see him? So that's what I don't the know because Jay, real talk. I was wondering what the fuck he was saying when I listened to it. <laughs> so I would love to hear what all of that. Meant. It's nice to know that somebody was listening because JR recapped me. Oh, I was listening. One hundred percent. Understand what the fuck you was talking about. He was understanding perfectly. <laughs> apparently. <laughs> and, and, and it's funny because that's how I explained it to them. Like, what did hell mean by? And that's how I explained it. And they was like, Yeah, but what is he? So that's what they want to know. <laughs> what am I? Well, what um. Is- so in in regards to that, I really think it's a lot of the shit that um probably not popular today right so i think you know there's a there's this sense that when it comes to manhood that if you communicate a certain way if you have a a, like communicate as in you speak when you want to speak you don't waste words um you communicate in other ways besides words that that's that's whack that's not acceptable and that if you are one who has to keep your feelings inside because you got to like be the strong one because if you're not the strong one, shit going to fly out of control like that. Th- somebody got to be that guy, that person in this ship. And so I think that's who I am. Like, I don't think it's insensitive. I just think it's somebody who is puts mm-hmm. emotions in its place. Drop. That's it. All right. Um, so there's your clarification. Mm-hmm. That was actually from your cousin Tanya. Oh, I love that chick. Yeah. I was wondering who it was, and she wanted a few people that could ask that question and me not check them when I see them in the street. <laughs> <laughs> now wait, what was the question for Gina? Um, so Gina, how do you see Al? She was like, she was wondering if you see your husband the same way. 
um, the same way as he sees himself. Um, I'm going to say yes. Like I've always understood him to be that person who is, I am who I am, take it or leave it. Um, so yeah, I, I see him that way. I just don't think that that's how people should operate in this world. Mm. Okay. All right. Um, Particularly with the people that you are in relationship with, right? Regardless of what that relationship is, husband, wife, mother, child, you know, father, whatever, friends, brother, sister, like it doesn't matter. When you are in a relationship with people, it matters how they think and how they feel. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. I got a lot to say to that, Um, but I'm not going to do that right now. (laughs) And um, (laughs) and Pooh, this one was, I guess, for you. Um, uh, We did hear back from Angela. Um, Angela is divorced, so you and Kita can't hang out with her and her husband. Oh, Ange, we're going to have to do a... a <laughs> so, yeah. Ange may be getting a girl's night out without you, Pooh. Yes. <laughs> man, you just got dismissed. Right. We'll, get, we'll get with Ange and bring another guy, man. No, we'll, no. we'll just hang out with Ange. We don't right. need another guy. We'll hook Ange over Chad, something like that. Yeah. We, we'll just hang out with Ange. Just us three. We'll hang out. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, Any man. other questions there, Jay? Uh, no, those are the only two uh, feedback we had. Um, but I wanted to get those in before... Uh, Key to start giving out trophies. Well, <laughs> hold on with the trophies. Before we do the trophies, I did want to mention something. You know, we had, a, I, I think, last year, um, <clears throat> our first season was so incredibly long. Think about how many episodes we had in our first season. 30. Uh, right. So we lasted a long time. We went through a lot of different holidays and seasons. And so I just want to say, I think we had a lot to offer through our holiday season. And um, the one thing that really worked for all of us was that 12 days of Christmas. So don't forget about the 12 days of Christmas, y'all. Yeah. You know, get get that love going in that house. Make it happen. It's fun. Even if it's just little things. If you ain't got the money, make something for your spouse. You know, make it happen. But it's fun. And don't forget about your 12 days of Christmas. Yeah. Oh, that's a that's a really good idea, Lane. We're gonna try to probably do that again. Mm-hmm. Twelve yeah. days. We got and we got last, added um, at each other one time, right? We 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 did what? Didn't we fuss at each other one time about something with the twelve days? He's like we 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 what? Was we, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it was good though. I I really enjoyed. So I'm thank you guys you and uh jay for yeah yeah no it. it's dope and i think if you know we do it we all to you guys are like send me the photo and i'll you know i'll post it on the gram or whatever what you know day 12 they you know i count let them count down let you know let oh, them, that'll be cool yeah for people to be able to keep in touch yeah right. so baby we do it at 12 days of christmas we doing it 12 days of christmas yeah <laughs> Yeah. You saying that for the air. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, I am who I am. Right. right. Hey, what happens to Who he, he is is, is a motherfucker that don't give gifts <laughs> oh, for 12 oh, days. Oh. What happened to give people space to be right. different? What happened to all of that? You know, you got oh, it's, it sounds good in theory. <laughs> 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 Uh, so what's going on with these awards? Come on, Keita, give out them awards, Keita. All right, y'all. <laughs> Once again, I think that it has been a fantastic show. A little, oh, wait, a little different than than the usual. A few extra jabs thrown, and you know all of that. But it's all in love. We thank you for listening. We thank you for sticking in there with us. And so, again tonight, we say same time, same channel. Well, actually, no, we no. don't say that this week. Right. And why are you? Because we are taking a little break. This concludes season two for us. We will take a break about um, about four weeks long. So we're giving ourselves to get to, or is it longer than two months? Hey, two we'll be months back after the holidays. Through, 
We're going to yeah. get the holidays and come back in January with a fresh start. Just yeah, kind of yeah. allowing everybody to enjoy their families, their husbands, their children, their in-laws, like all of that over the next two major holidays. And we will see you back in January. So once again, thank y'all for hanging out with us Um every Wednesday and and supporting us and so we'll see you in 2022 good night y'all and and be great do better than you did yesterday yeah, right. I'm right happy How about that happy Christmas Merry Christmas and New Year yeah All and happy that. holidays ditto ditto we love Peace. y'all thank y'all yes, appreciate y'all good night y'all Bye. Bye.